Okay, welcome everybody to this tutorial. This tutorial is on making sure that in Canvas, all of our assignment details are set up in such a way to trigger the sync with our student information system, also known as Q. So um, today we're going to be taking a look at, we're gonna go into my sandbox course. You wanna open up a course, um, if you have some concerns about the course syncing uh, with Q, uh, go into the course and there's a couple of different um, ways that you can do this. Um, we're going to first go into modules. A lot of people are working from the module perspective and, uh, and that's great. So um, here I've got a demo unit in my sandbox course. And um, one of the things to check to make sure that your assignments are going to um, sync, um, they, they need to have a title, which of course all assignments, and when I say assignments, discussions, graded discussions, quizzes, tests, assignments, they need to have a title they need to have a date assigned. Uh, that's what triggers the actual sync to occur. They need to have points um, and they need to have a little checkbox, um, the sync with SIS checkbox. And so I'm gonna show you some different ways um, to verify that. So if you're in module view, um, right now, if we're taking a look at um, responding to the text here, critical questions number one assignment, you can see it's got a date and it's got points. So that's a good sign. Um, it's got a title, the date and points. So the only thing we need to really check is to make sure that it has the sync with SIS box checked. So one way to get to that is by clicking the assignment, going into using the edit button with a little pencil icon, clicking edit, and then of course, um, scrolling down, you should see assignment details and we can see the points here. Um, and um, we can see in this case that this assignment has been, the little checkbox sync to SIS um, has been checked, which would include this when the sync occurs. The sync is triggered by this date. So on May 18th, 1159, um, once that hits, um, it'll go into the um, the queue, um, the, the waiting line, the, it'll go into the, the list to be synced of assignments to, to queue, and that should happen overnight and be available uh, in queue on the 19th. And remember, when assignments do get synced in queue, they show up in queue as um, ungraded. So you do need to go in and manually check it out, make sure it's good. And then you, you flip the little button at the top of spreadsheet view um, from red to green, and that would um, then make the assignment uh, graded. Okay, so there are a couple of other ways um, to take a look at assignments. Let's let's look at an assignment that won't sync. So let's look at a non kind of a non example here. So let's go into uh, modules. So let's go ahead and go into the assignment unit one lab questions. Click the edit button, and let's fix this guy. So we need to go in here. It's got the title. It's got points. Uh, it has. Um, it looks like in this case, both the sync to SIS has not been checked and there is no due date. So both of those things need to be corrected in order for, and then we gotta click the save button. And this is important. Um, a lot of people have um, dates that have been dropped. Um, if you change the date, but um, by clicking the calendar icon and, um, or by manually entering the date and you don't click the save button, those, those dates do not change, um, or excuse me, they don't save. And so they drop out um, let's click save here. Okay. So, um, one other way that you can check quickly to see if assignments are synced assignments and quizzes is that you'll notice that in your course menu, you have an assignments list and a quizzes list. Now these are just unstructured lists of all the assignments and unstructured lists of all your quizzes that are contained in this canvas shell. So I'm going to click assignments. Um, and I just wanted to show you this view. If we go down here, we can see, for instance, a couple other assignments that, that have problems. This little icon, um, most of the assignments have here. And if you hover over it, you'll see the floating text that says sync to SIS enabled, click to toggle. So you can actually click um, these toggles on and off if you want to um, to sync them. It's, it's, very, it's the same exact thing as going in and checking that little sync to SIS box. So here for unit test, for instance, we can click and toggle that on, but notice it's got missing pieces of information here. We don't have dates, nor do we have points for either one of these assignments. So when you're looking through, um, you wanna make sure this is unit one labs that we fixed is a perfect example. It's got a name, it's got points, it's got a date, and it is synced. So those are the th settings that you'll wanna 
to, to double check um, if, you've, if you've got an assignment that's in Canvas but doesn't appear in queue at this point because the syncing appears to be working across the district, you'll want to go in and um, make sure that you have those set. I'm going to go ahead and fix the summary response essay and the unit test. Um, to do that, I'm going to click inside the assignment. I'm going to choose my edit button. I'm going to assign it points because it has no points. I'm going to, oops, that's an essay, but probably be more than that. Um, we're going to make sure that our SIS box is clicked and we're going to set our due date as I'm going to need some time to create those essays. So we'll say May 18th. And again, it's important, lower right, to hit that save button. Okay. So now when we come back to our assignments list, we can see that this summary response essay now has a title, a date, points, and it's been synced. Okay, so thanks so much for joining me with this tutorial on syncing assignments to Canvas. Uh, reach out via email if you've got any questions, and uh, thanks again for your time.